I want to talk about something, and this is for the people who seem to not be able to stop masturbating, having sex before marriage, watching pornography, and foolish things like that. You have to understand that you have no idea of what you are doing. You know what is funny? God started to reveal more things to me when I started to serve him more. When I started following his rules and regulations. So the closer I get with him, the more that he reveals to me. And I'm thinking maybe if he would have showed me or shown me the things that he is showing me now, perhaps I may have <laughs> stopped doing those sinful things that I was doing in my past. Perhaps. Let me tell you about this demonic dream. And I am telling you this to show you that this stuff is not a game. Last morning, I was having this sexual demonic dream. And in this dream, In these types of dreams, you can't control what you are doing. You pretty much have to go with it, which is whatever. Anyways, I was having this demonic sexual dream, and I believe I told you all that dreams are not dreams. Dreams are supernatural, supernatural experiences. They are real. So I was in this sexual dream and I was doing whatever to this woman. And there was a second woman there. And I am not trying to be gross or anything like that. I am telling you this to teach. So this second woman there was like, I am going to show you my huge breast. And she was saying this in this playful tone. So she lift up her shirt. And I saw these huge, deformed, beast-like breasts. Crazy looking. We have to understand... That woman or that man that you are having that sexual dream with, you have to know that is a demon. So I saw these huge, wide, enormous breasts, beast-like, nasty looking, weird looking, horrible looking. I was talking to this one guy a while ago, maybe last week, I forget. And he was telling me about a sexual dream that he was having. And of course, you can't control yourself in these sexual dreams. Anyways, he told me that he was having one. But the thing he told me, I forget exactly how he, he said it, but he said that he was able to wake up or something. And he saw <laughs> this demon on top of him with a bald head. And when he woke up, the guy told me that that demon's eyes got really big, like wide-eyed, and 
I forget what he said after that. I believe the demon left. Either he told the demon to leave or something like that. Let me say this too, before I forget. While I was having that demonic sexual dream, it was like two things were going on at the same time. I was having this dream. At the same time, something was happening to me in this earthly realm. So certain things, because the things that was happening to me in that sexual dream, it did not match up to what I was feeling on this earthly side. I believe I told you all that demons can implant thoughts into your mind. I believe this, and I can be wrong about this, demons can implant whatever you want to call it, video-like, dreams, whatever else, into your mind. At the same time, they can do something to you while you are asleep. So let's say that I am not going to use myself as this example. <laughs> let's say there is a crazy person. And let's say that they want to do something crazy to you while you are asleep. So to keep your mind somewhere else, they do something to your brain to where you believe something else is happening while they are doing whatever to you in real life. I believe demons can do the same thing as well. And I believe that is what happened to me because what I was feeling and what I sensed as well, that something was happening to me while I was in that dream because while I was in that dream and what I was feeling on this side, it did not match up. What is your point, Kevin? My Lord. You have to understand that when you have sex with these women, when you have sex with these men, you are having sex with their demons. If only you were able to see that demon with those disfigured breasts. Have you seen horror movies before? Have you seen... Oh, my Lord. Hideous. I believe it is worse than movies. When you are having sex before marriage... When you are choosing to kiss on the girls and the guys and all that stuff there, when you decide to touch on them and all this stuff here, you have to understand that you are doing that to their demons as well. Because the demon is one with them. So... When you are doing it to that human, you are doing it to their demons as well. I pray that if you don't believe me, I pray right now, I pray right now that God shows you the sexual demons, the succubus, incubus. I pray right now that he shows them to you so you can believe in what I am saying. I pray that right now, in Jesus' name.
This stuff is serious, man. What if you could see the demons right next to that woman or that man? Would you still have sex, casual sex? I believe that is what they call it, casual sex. Would you do that with that woman or that man? I know that inside many people's mind, when they think of a demon, they may think of a beast, but perhaps not that hideous, not that unclean. Oh, my Lord, you have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. These things are really nasty, man. Really, really nasty. So when you choose to masturbate, play with yourself, and do all those things there, you have to understand that demons are around you. When you are entertaining yourself with mess like that, you have to understand that demons are entertaining themselves as well. When you choose a sin, especially sexually, you are honoring demons. You are giving your will to demons. Let me go down this other route as well. When you choose to dress in a sexy way, as they call it, showing your body parts, trying to get attention from men or women, you have to understand that you are ministering to people of things of demons. You are getting people latched on to demons because you want attention. Because you want attention, you are putting people in lust, enslaving much more people to demons because you want attention. These demons, I am telling you, man. I pray, like I said, I pray if you think that this is a game, if this is whatever, I pray that God shows you many of them. It is only going to take one, but I pray that he shows you many of them. I am serious. And when you start to see them, you are going to see that this is no game, man. Like I said, I did not start really seeing them until I started to get close to God. Back when I was in sin, I may have seen really not many, maybe one or whatever else. But now it is crazy. Let me stop here. God bless you.